Yes, welcome back. So in the last video, we discussed about what is Apache Camel, right? So again, we started what is enterprise integration pattern, right? So in this video, we'll go in depth somewhat. Okay. So basically before understanding enterprise integration framework, you should understand what is design pattern first of all. Okay. So hope if you are already coming from Java background or any of the backgrounds, you should know the design patterns, right? So design patterns are a solutions for a common problems where most of the developers faced, right? So for example, when you are developing some applications, right? So maybe 10 people are developing application commonly around eight people will face same issue, right? So those type of issues, what uh, like a big architects done is that they introduce some patterns. Okay. If you are following this pattern, you can avoid this type of all the bugs, this type of all the issues. Okay. So for example, we can just take it as singleton pattern. Okay. So you are developing an application. Okay. Whenever you are injecting your bean, even to another bean, it is creating or creating memories always to avoid that they introduce a singleton design pattern, right? So once the, in the whole project, it will inject only once the, the one bean, you can use it everywhere actually, right? So this type of solutions has been done. Okay. So that is called as a design pattern. Okay, so hope you understood. Okay, let's come into enterprise integration pattern. Okay, so this is fine. Design pattern I understood. Okay, again, when you are integrating multiple applications, right, you may face lot of problems, right? Maybe if you are working in one MNC, right, so you will be uh, have a microservice architecture which have maybe hundreds of components or thousands of components, right? So you need to integrate all these components together, maybe in your based on your business logic. You will face lot of issues to solve that. So people like architects, they introduce enterprise integration patterns. Okay. So which will help you to solve almost lot of enterprise integration problems. Okay. So Apache camel will support all the enterprise integration patterns into the Apache camel. Okay. So don't mix it. So enterprise integration problem is patterns is different. Okay. Apache camel is supporting most of the enterprise integration patterns. That is what you want to understand. Okay. Next, tell me some example. What is inter inter enterprise integration pattern? Still, I'm not clear. Okay. Hold on. So for example, take it first thing, aggregate, right? So I, again, I'm telling maybe hundreds of components are there enterprise integration pattern components, but we are going to see some four examples. Okay. First thing aggregate. So what basically it will do. Okay. So if you read it, Combine number of messages in, into single message. Maybe your use case has been running parallelly two, three threads. Okay. So once the, all the threads has been completed the task, task, you need to merge the message. You need to merge the response and you need to do some process, right? So that type of use cases. Okay. So combine number of messages into single message. For that type of use cases, you can go for aggregate design pattern. Okay. So in Apache camel using a keyword called aggregate, you can achieve this easily. Okay. So that is what you no need to write lot of stuff, lot of code or anything else. You can just use a keyword aggregate and you can do some, you can follow some steps to use that actually. That's all. Okay. Again, what is multicast? It will route same message into multiple endpoints. It is like reverse wise, right? So compared to aggregate. So you are having one message. You need to pass this message into multiple endpoints. I mean, multiple routers or multiple different places. Okay. Then you can go for a multicast. Okay. Again, what is log to log the messages? Maybe if you are working in, uh, if you are coming from the technology background, you know about log, right? So Apache camera is supporting logs as well. You can directly inject that and you can use it out. Okay. Again, so they are having the method also for the log. Actually, you can directly put the method log and you can message it. Actually, you can log it actually. Okay. You no need to uh, put app logs or nothing. You no need to inject log 4 g or nothing. You need to do it or directly. You can use the, their log actually. So for that also they introduce, they are having the patterns. Okay. Again, rollback, you know about it, right? So if something failed in your transaction or something is mismatched, not pro following the process by process, then you can roll back the whole transaction. Okay. So that also you can do like this type of lot of decent, lot of enterprise integration patterns are there. Okay. 
so this is just an example okay so like this we are having lot of integration patterns this all are already implemented already inbuilt in the apache camel you can use it so some of that in the core component itself it will be there okay some of the patterns it will be there in the core component itself like for example log and all the stuffs so some of the patterns for example you are going to use some mq or kafka whatever it may be right there may be you need to inject the jar maybe you need to put the jar maybe dependency some dependency you need to add it out then you can use that also inside the apache camel okay so core commands will have some of the uh, patterns and other like a other components also you can inject and you can use the patterns okay so this is what the example about eap so integrated descent pattern okay so thanks for watching in the next video we'll discuss about apache architecture okay thanks for watching bye bye